Oh, it's Cooper. Hey, Coop, how's the ad game? Hey, oh, the ad game, as you're putting it, is terrible. It's awful. Oh. Well, my designers, as you know, they don't always keep their commitments, and, and it's getting to me. Oh, uh, not being trustworthy. Oh, that's a good word. I want to show them a film about this. Trustworthy. I have it, but could you look at it? Tell me if it's any good. It might help. I'd love to. I'll, I'll look at it right now. Okay, good. All right, then. Am I trustworthy? Hmm. This is very stirring. Why must the others shun me? Oh. You know the rule, Todd. Five feet behind us. Did you ever feel as if you've been left out? Oh. Well, that's when it really hurts. When no one understands that you'd do a good job if you had a chance. Mm. That you'd make good. You feel pretty low when you've been left out. Ach, mein soul. That's the way it was oh. with Eddie Johnson. <laughs> and this is his story. Okay. A story about the importance of trustworthiness. Well, right off the bat, I don't think Eddie's barber was very trustworthy. Poor kid. Well, hi, ah! Eddie. Oh, don't ever oh, do Dad. that. What are you doing? Well, you're kind of late, and Mother was counting on you fixing this lamp. So I thought I'd better do it and have it ready. Shame, shame. Is anything wrong, son? No. Come on, you can trust me with your troubles, can't you, Eddie? Why does everybody keep talking about trusting people? Whoa, They elected easy. Bob the treasurer of our club because he was trustworthy. Huh. And me? They put me on the cleanup committee. Wah, wah. I wouldn't have stolen their money. At least not all of What's it. What's all this about being trustworthy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> it can't be that bad. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me what happened. Well, I was selling my counterfeit library cards as I've usual. I've been in our hobby club for about three years now. And I wanted to be treasurer. Who wouldn't? I should have been, too. But at our meeting today... And this is Eddie Johnson's story. But I'm going to the tell... The story of a boy who had his heart set on being treasurer of his club. Aim high. Of course, there wasn't any real reason for Eddie to be elected. But, like most of us... He just hoped. That was his first mistake. He hoped someone would nominate him. Mm. But whose name do you think they thought of first? Bob West. Ah, typical. One of Eddie's best friends. Bob West. Jim Small was nominated, too. <laughs> Jim. Smug. And Mary Burns. Super Tuesday was a lot simpler back then. But Eddie? Huh? Well, no one even thought to mention wait, Eddie. Wait, wait, wait. And you can't nominate yourself, you guys think even when you want the job. Uh, so before Eddie knew it, the nominations were closed. To the guillotine! And when the voting was over, Bob had won. <laughs> I'm beaming. <laughs> they said he was elected because he was so trustworthy. And because he had a super pack. Well, why should they think of Bob as trustworthy and not Eddie? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to do any work in the cleanup committee. <laughs> why should they say he's trustworthy, Dad? What's being trustworthy got to do with being a treasurer? Well, oh, Eddie, a treasurer certainly must be trustworthy. Oh, boy, here it but comes. But being trustworthy is pretty important to all of us and almost everything we do. Okay. If you think of the things you do every day... All right, we're going to want to zoom in on Dad here. That's good. A little tighter. A little tighter. All right, right there. That's great, camera two. Cool, for example. Well, if we you all don't depend eat your meat. on teachers to fulfill their trust to the parents and all the boys and girls to do a good job of teaching, just as all the boys and girls must keep trust with their teachers. Me, 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 every day. me. That's how trustworthiness is important at school. And what about trustworthiness with your friends? Uh -huh. You're willing to lend something when you can trust a friend to return it. And your friends Sucker. trust you <laughs> to take good care of the things you borrow. Being trustworthy with your <laughs> friends is mighty important. Rejected. And how about trustworthiness with the different groups of people you meet all around you? You trust 
the man in the store to not to take so GD long putting your receipt in the bag. Come on. And to deal with everyone honestly and fairly. Ugh, that my helps life. Us all to live together well, doesn't it? One pound milk. So oh. Trustworthiness with groups is important too. Okay, I'm sorry I asked, Dad. Even in the home, trustworthiness makes it easier to get along. But I've never taken anything that I shouldn't have. And got caught. Or robbed anyone. <laughs> I'm trustworthy. Mm. Well, let's see. I've always noticed that people have to show they can be trusted with little things. Ah, hint, hint. Before they can be trusted with big things. Just like, well, doing what you say you will. Hint, hint. Like fixing the lamp, for instance? Okay, bingo. Yeah, fixing a lamp, for instance. You know, Dad, come to think of it, Bob is a good choice for treasurer. I can All right, we're going to zoom in close on the kid now. That's it. great. A little tighter and hold it right. That's great, camera one. Just remembering. I'm so sure. Remembering that Bob shows he can be trusted to do little things. At the charge-out desk, Bob helps out at regular times. And he always remembers to be on the job when he's supposed to. Being on time may seem a little thing, too. But it's another important way to show that you're trustworthy. And everybody knows that Bob has had experience handling money and keeping accounts. And skimming profits. People are willing to trust someone who has proved he can do the job. Yes, all these little things have given Bob a reputation for always keeping whatever trust he accepts. You'll have a position waiting for you in my administration. People do trust Bob. He deserved to be treasurer, all right. But how can I learn to be trustworthy, too? Well, by showing that he could be trusted in little things, Bob was trusted in big things, too. Perhaps that's the way. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I guess being trustworthy is pretty important. And I'm taking that job on the cleanup committee. I'll embezzle Clorox. <laughs> but it works. Yeah. You know? I have a lot of trusts already. They're in my code. Most of them little, but I never thought of them as trust people. I don't think anybody calls them trusts, actually. Trusts at school, at home, with... huh? and what? I'm going to make sure I keep them. Oh, he seems like a good kid. I wonder who his real dad is. Being trustworthy includes a lot. From now on, Eddie is going to keep trust by getting to school on time. Eddie is going to do a good job when he says he'll help with the work around the house. Mm. And he'll make sure to take good care of all the things he's responsible for. He'll even turn the vacuum on That's next time. That's the way time. to be trustworthy at home, isn't it? How about being trustworthy with friends? Mm. Well, after this, when Eddie wants to borrow something from friends, he's going to be certain they know he'll return it. And he'll take good care of it. Well, he's three feet away. That's it's one way like to be it's... trustworthy with your friends. Mm-hmm. And what about groups? Well, Eddie has a trust with the hobby club to do what his job. What the hell is a hobby club, But sometimes anyway? cleaning up is much fun. Why not play darts instead? Hey, catch! No one around, <gasps> no one would know the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cleaning could be done later. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. But what was that dad <gasps> do said? Do it, do it, do it. People have it. to show they can be trusted with little things mm -hmm. if they want to be trusted with big ones. That's right. From Back now to on, work, Eddie jackass. Can be on to Back to work. Trust with groups. That's the way a good group keeps going. Each member must keep trust. And refuse to have any fun, ever. <laughs> I've got trust at school and home with friends and groups. A time we get along, no, oh, yes. You can trust me, doodly dee. Hi, Dad. Hi, Eddie. What do you got there? A new song. A chart on trustworthiness. What in the world the is Dad wearing? We talked about it. I've been finding out how important trustworthiness really is. And you know, Dad, you can find it everywhere. And the things you do and... And look, Dad... Don't ever interrupt me! Means. Here's what you have to do. To be trustworthy, keep your word, play fair, do a good job, and be on time. And kill or be killed. That sounds very good, Eddie. Don't ever touch and you know, me. Dad, it really works. I've been offered the job at the library desk in our club room. 
That's the job Bob had before he became treasurer. At this rate, I'll be secretary of snacks in no time. Well, that's how Eddie Johnson learned something about trustworthiness. And what about you? Little old you. <laughs> Do you always keep your trust? Hmm. Remember, when you show you're trustworthy in little things, hmm. you'll be trusted with big things. And that's the way gain a reputation hmm. for being trustworthy. Uh, hey, Eddie, I heard you're real trustworthy. Do you want to go out sometime? Hmm? Hmm? All right, um, let's call Cooper back. Hey, buddy. Well, how was it? Well, it follows a good problem solution format, and it's, and it gives a checklist, and you know how I love a good checklist. Uh, you know, even though the objectives weren't really set out right, I, I would recommend it. It's got good structure. I think if you have some activities with it, your designers will respond to it, so. Oh, all right. Well, I'm not going to use that film. Oh, wait, what? Now, you know what? I, I've gone ahead and fired most of those guys, and, uh, and yeah... Don't ever call me again. Just hang on, though. Cause hey, I gotta go. I've got a lot more work to do now, thanks to you.